Yo! Yo, yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video here. We got Miss Orca. We got Orky Porky. Kisses. Oh, thank you, my sweet. Thank you, my sweet. And Papito. As you guys can see from the title, let's just hop right into it. Let's just hop right into it. Make sure you guys drop a like, share the stream, let everybody know JT Seuss is back. Share this to your booters. Get this out to the Dep program. Your Deppers. <coughs> No, but for real, as you guys can see from the title, stop worrying about these stupid things before you go to boot camp and join the Navy. Stop it. I wish I had somebody to tell me this, but I had no family members that were in the Navy. I had no family members that were uh, deployed in the military. I was the first one. So I'm telling this to you. I wish I had somebody to tell me this stuff. So, uh, yo, first thing you need to stop worrying about, cleanliness. Hygiene, let me explain. Get used to being dirty. Don't worry about, oh, how am I gonna wash my face? Oh, how am I, what, I wanna smell good. How am I gonna smell good in boot camp or on deployment or wash my face, this, that, and the third. What if I get dirty? How do I take a shower and stay clean? Get used to getting nasty. Get used to being dirty. Get used to it. The earlier, the quicker you get used to just like, I'm gonna be, I'm a sailor. It's a dirty job, Mike Rowe. Mike Rowe would say it's a dirty job. Let me give you an example. On deployment, when we were deployed in the Middle East, you wake up, go to cleaning stations, 0700 in the morning, you're instantly starting to drench, you're drenched in sweat at 0700 as you do cleaning stations in the hangar bit. Already sweating your balls off from seven in the morning till you're off work at 1900, 12 hours later, 1900 at night. Constantly sweating and dirty, 24-7. So the quicker you get used to the idea that, all right, it's, um, I'm just, it's a, I'm gonna get dirty sometimes. It's gonna get messy, man. The quicker you grasp that concept, the easier it's gonna be. Boot camp, you're gonna probably get pink eye. All right, the next thing that you need to stop worrying about. This is about kind of medical care. I saw somebody worrying about dental, for, for an example. They were saying, oh, what if I get a cavity in boot camp? And they use the different filling. What if they use like the black, color filling instead of the white color filling because you know they don't want it to be seen on the teeth you're that nitpicky already you haven't even this person hadn't hasn't even shipped off to boot camp yet and they're already being nitpicky about the color of the filling that they want in their teeth oh my god <laughs> wake up call brother you go into medical when you're on, uh, after boot camp you go to medical for some sort of injury your leg falls off guess what they're giving you some mocha and some ice. Your legs fall, your leg, you're missing a leg, it's fine, you're some Motrin. All right, this next thing you don't need to worry about, going to the bathroom, asking to go to the bathroom. What if I have to go to the bathroom? Are they gonna let me go to the bathroom? What if I have to go potty? What if I have to go number two? What if I have to poop? Uh, also a little more, I'm gonna talk a little more about another thing that's kinda, you know. Uh, but first let's answer this. No, don't worry about it. This isn't school. I know a lot of you are 17, 18, like it's your, your a newly, I joined at 18 right after high school also. Like I said, nobody talked to me about this stuff. I had no idea, don't worry about it. They're gonna let you go to the bathroom. There's very, very few times in boot camp where you literally probably won't be able to go. Less, probably three times out of two months, which equates to probably out of the whole time you're there, the thousands of hours or hundreds of hours, there's probably literally two hours out of thousands of hours where you won't be able to go. That's during like very important uniform inspections. The whole compartment gets in their special, a certain uniform, dress blues, dress whites, NSUs, whatever, and the RDCs go around the whole compartment, you know, and check your uniforms and look for hits, this, that, and the third. So if you're in a uniform inspection, you probably gotta hold the poop or hold the pee, but you're, you're gonna know it's coming. Just get used to it, like on deployment. The heads, the bathrooms on the ship are nasty. The quicker you get used to like going to the bathroom in uncomfortable situations, the easier it's gonna be. Because imagine you're on deployment in the Middle East, it's 100 degrees, you're sweating your balls off, you're trying to take a shit. The three other stalls in the head are overflowed with brown water, pooped to the top, the smell is disgusting, and then you, have, you gotta take a shower, and guess where the shower is? It's in the same room as the three overflowed poop uh, toilets. And the, the water gets really hot, the steam, Guess how that smells when the steam mixes with the poo? Good times. Uh, so, get used to it. The quicker you get used to going to the head, going to the bathroom, that stuff, it's gonna make your life so much easier, man. 
These are things people don't think about. These are quality of life things that nobody tells you about and you're surprised and you're like, giving you a heads up. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, man. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to share it with uh, other people going to boot camp or whoever. I'm gonna be making a lot more videos here, JT Seuss. I'm trying to be more active on the channel. I always appreciate you guys. Orca's going crazy, playing with Papa here. Orca, you need to relax. You good girl. You need to relax. Good girl. Thank you. Thank you for the kisses. Thank you for the kisses. Okay. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Make sure to drop a like, share the video, subscribe, notifications, you know, all, all, the, all the stuff that YouTube people say. Good boy!